All right, what up, y'all? All right, so in the previous video, we took this motor off of that four-wheeler, and now it's time to go through this whole thing and make sure it's all fixed up. So, like I showed in the other video, it's a little dark in here, but I got all the parts laid out right here. And, um, you know, I got the motor here, and I need to make a little space here as like an in-between, that there's the parts that are going to be not chilling out that long. But um, we got to take the CVT off. So this is kind of a CVT removal and installation video as well, I guess. But we got to take this pulley off, this pulley off, pull it all off, take the belt off, and then we got to get these bolts out um, that are down in here, all behind here that hold this case on. So we can pull the case off because the wet clutch is behind either this one or this one. I don't know. I think actually I do know it's behind this one because I stuck a light in there and saw it. It's behind this one. And I keep showing this, but it's got, you know, clutch material in here. And I can see where the clutch, the wet clutch is, is messed up. So I was lucky, and this isn't metal. This is like brake pad material um, that I've said in previous videos. And you can see it's it came off of the the wet clutch. So for y'all don't know, that don't know anything about these, and you think this is the clutch, well, um, if you've ever worked on a go kart or anything like that, you know, just to simplify it a little bit, uh, there's a clutch behind here, and it's got like it looks like a brake drum, and it's got clutch shoes. Um, it allows it to idle without this spinning, basically, because when this is spinning, the thing's moving. So it allows it to sit there and idle, and then and once it hits a certain RPM range, they they fling out and they grab the other side of this and turn it. So it can idle, 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 and then the the internal clutch, the wet clutch, because it's in oil, springs out and then allows this to turn. So I got to take all of this apart to get to it and I just want to show you all before we get started here this is why you take your stuff completely apart I found this you know go through it completely dude I stuck the pressure washer nozzle down in there and blasted it for like 20 minutes total on this spot alone look what I found in there it's like an old uh, belt tooth it was just chilling right there just like that so if that got in here it would cause me problems. So I got to go through and take this whole thing apart. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get this thing taken apart here, and I'm going to film it so y'all can see. But that just goes to show you, like, little stuff like this that you can miss. It's not really going to cause that big a problem in the belt side. But, you know, like, it could cause a lot of damage if it was, like, maybe a nut or something that fell down into the motor or something. You never know. So you got to do your due diligence, really, and take everything apart um, completely to rebuild stuff like this. So I'm going to get you on the tripod, and I'm going to get the CVT torn down. All right, so this timing chain, I just want to show you all real quick, is smoked, too. I mean, it's bad. Like, look at that. It's staying put. It's It's bad. It's not flowing. The links are all stuck. And initially when I looked at it, I saw all these little edges on here. Um, it's so hard to see this stuff when it's on the four-wheeler, but I saw these little edges right here, and I was like, uh, I don't know. But now that I look at it even more, this thing is toast. So it's not that big a deal. Um, I found on eBay a timing chain and the tensioner. Uh, what's it called? The tensioner and the uh the little guides is like 30 bucks shipped so that chain was good i'm probably just going to get a used timing chain
Oh, look at that mess. This is going to take forever to clean up. Well, there's that. That's not supposed to be there. Okay, that goes like that with the little tang up. The tang goes up. Dude. I got in here and I pressure washed this whole thing, but it's still got gunk all in it. All in it. I'm going to have to clean that whole thing out. These ones, these ones are longer, apparently, so. Well, now it's coming off. Man, they really didn't want this thing coming off, did they? Oh, boy. That looks kind of grooved. That's the part I was talking about. Here's the clutch right here. Okay, that's reverse thread. That's a one-way bearing. All right, so here's the wet clutch thing I was talking about, and you can see these things, this thing is worn out. I mean, it's done. So I'm gonna rebuild it. You can buy a whole new assembly 
or you can get uh, the shoes and rebuild it. I found uh, links on eBay. I'll link to them in the description to where y'all can get the shoes and just rebuild this thing. So, All right, so this thing, this part of it is, is kind of grooved out, so I'm not too happy about that. I don't know what to do about that yet. I'm going to have to do a little bit more research, but I got it all apart now. If I have to buy a whole new used assembly, I guess I'll just have to do that. But um, I'm going to lay this down real quick. All right, so here's the old timing chain, cam chain. This thing is destroyed, so I'm going to have to get a new one of those. I already knew that, so I'm laying that to the side. And I'm going to have to go order parts. It, uh... It all looks pretty good. Everything else looks pretty good besides that. I already knew it was destroyed because of the evidence, but um, the bearing seems pretty good. I'm going to have to flush out the gear case and get all the gunk and all that stuff out of there. All right, so I think I'm just going to end the video here because I need to go order parts. I need new shoes for this, maybe that new thing down there because um, it's pretty grooved out. I need a new timing chain, cam chain, and a new gasket. So when I get those, we'll just do that as a reassembly video. But uh, I'll put links in the description to anything I can find online so you don't have to search all over the place for it if y'all are doing this to your motor. Um, thanks for watching, y'all. If y'all enjoyed this video, drop me a huge thumbs up down below. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for the next videos of me rebuilding the rest of this. Peace.